Genie of the Lamp. And I am Nala, the not quite so powerful slave of the ring. Oh, Nala, you certainly are powerful enough to put a spell on me. Oh, Omar, <laughs> someday I hope to be a genie too. But for the moment, I'm a slave in a ring owned by a baddie. And I'm not that famous at all. I mean, I didn't even make the Disney movie. Hey! <laughs> The Slave of the Ring is a very important part of the traditional story of Aladdin. We like to keep things traditional around here. So I am the genie, she's the slave, and together we are magic. You know what's magic, Omar? What, Nala? Having Kendo back! Yeah! Woo! I am so done with social distancing and working from home. And I am sick to the teeth of wearing masks and sanitizing everything. And I never want to do another Zoom call as long as I live. What the? Oh my god, no way! Hey, you two. Hey, kids, I'm Aladdin. Pleased to meet you all. What's with the sign Zoom call? Yeah, sorry to disturb you two, but we're getting a little bit anxious back here. It's been three years since we've had an opening number. Any chance you could speed it up? So sorry, dude. Okay, okay, speed it up. Point again. I'm on the show. Thanks, you guys. See you later, kids. Okay, boys and girls, no more Zoom calls, I promise. No more social distancing. We're staying locked up at home. Oh, expert, bad goes back by. We are ready to enter Daniel. So, tonight we need you all to forget about COVID and all we've had to go through the past few years. We want you to open up your imaginations and prepare to see your dreams and wishes come true before your very eyes. For over 50 years, Wexford Pantomime Society have entertained the people of Wexford and beyond. And we are now here in one of the greatest venues in the country. The National Opera House. Yes, we're back. <laughs> we lost the theater, we survived a pandemic, and we're still smiling. So, sit back, relax, and join us on another magical panto adventure. Yes, Wexford Panto is back, so let, let us entertain, entertain you. you.
the beautiful mystic land of Arabia. A tale of a boy who is pure of heart, who with the help of some magic friends will surely fulfill his dreams. So let us begin. This is the story of a boy called Aladdin. And it begins like this. Once upon a time in deepest Arabia, a dark and evil sorcerer and his assistant, a lachy, an evil plan. <laughs> now, Abdul, pay attention. Lesson one in becoming the ultimate bad guy. You need a seriously evil laugh. <laughs> I see. You should be writing this down, you know. You won't get this kind of hands-on training with your online how to become a fatty webinars, you know. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. <laughs> at last, my search is at an end. The Cave of Wonders. The Cave of Wonders. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what this means? Yes. Idiot! Inside this cave is the mystical lamp of Salsivar, and in that lamp lives the genie. Find the lamp, control the genie, control the genie, and world domination! Are you writing this down? Photographic memory. Mm, you want to lift your game, boy, or your baddie career will be shorter than Liz Truss's prime ministerial term. <laughs> Now, <laughs> stand back, and I shall approach the cave. Should I check with Castle Bridge Doctor Education if there are magic words needed to enter, like a password? Don't be ridiculous, password. <laughs> now, my moment of destiny. Sorry, I don't recognize you. Please reconnect and enter your password. What? Oh, I told you, you need a password for everything these days. Ah. Let me try something. Cave of Wonders! Could you play Baby Shark? Baby Shark from Ping Pong on Spotify. Very nice. 
Now that guy, he's totally my kind of master. What? This street rat! Magic is found in the most unexpected of places. Now can I go? Yes, yes. Get back in the ring, you. Come, Abdul. We must go to the village and find this street rat. He is the key to our success. <laughs> King of Wonders! Play Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style by Syl on Spotify.
Connie, you see, uh, I buried seven husbands. Only six of her dead though. <laughs> that, that joke is as old as my granny. Anyway, I'm Swaggy Twaggy, your forever friend. Do you have any hands? Lads, lads, lads. This can do better than that. Sure, this isn't the done work. The place won't class in on us if you make too much noise, huh? shower last night anyway. More life out and cross him, I tell you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What's going on with here again? Hey! <laughs> me darling gardens, me pride, me joy, the cause me stretch marks. Oh, sorry. Hello. Yes, it is. You're looking for it. Yes, 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 yes. We are. You made it. You have. My son and that. Boy, is he some dust. I swear to God, if work was in the bed, that lad would sleep in the wardrobe. <laughs> Village laundrette, it's a high class establishment. I clean the privates, I know best. I've had a sudden silkies in my hand many a time. <laughs> anyway, we're all supposed to help out in the laundrette, but as for that lad, he'd rather be running around up to no good with that bitch spot. And as for him, he'd make you want to go back into lockdown. Never mind lockdown, he shall be locked up. The next time I see him, I'll bitch bash him. <laughs> hey, Mum. Yeah, we were 
just terrorizing some local scum. Good, good. Well, I'm going to need you to catch that urchin. What do you think we're trying to do? Stick with me, boys, and I will make you very rich. Sounds good to me. Now, come on! <laughs> so, Aladdin, are you from the city? Oh, my life. I work in the laundrette with my mom and little sisters. I kind of look after them all. We don't have a lot, but we can't buy. That sounds like child labor. Does she pay you monthly or weekly? She pays us weekly. Very weekly. <laughs> are a lot of people poor in the city? I'm afraid so, Jasmine, and people are a lot worse off than us. Me and Beach Bar do what we can to help people out. We're kind of like Robin Hood. You rob from the rich to give to the poor? No, no, we look great in tights. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea there was such poverty. Something must be done about it. I like your optimism, Jasmine, but I don't think anyone in the palace realizes it's this bad in the city. That's very true. Sorry? I said I hope they do. <laughs> you see, so shy. What them guards don't understand is that, well, me and Al, we're the Batman and Robin of this city. Oh, I'm Batman. Oh, I see. Yeah, we were just giving them the runner down for the sport. I mean, I could beat the bow to them if I wanted to. I'd just walk up to them and do a Will Smith. BAM! <laughs> Oi! You! Go! Labour! <laughs> Responsibility to the people and to you. Do you think so? I hope so. Go ahead, Mahabut Abanazar. You are a kind and just advisor. Now, what will we do with these two? Oh, don't worry about them, Your Majesty. I will sort this. 
You head back to the palace and prepare for the arrival of Jasmine's suitor. Oh, yes, the soldiers. We must get ready. Okay, Abenazer, I shall leave this in your capable hands. Be fair and just. The fair man acts with justice and kindness. But traits I build my life around, your majesty. Slow lad, slow lad, go there. Very good, boss. Oh, thank you, Abdul. Come on, Abdul. What are we going to do with these then? Stop, hold a second. I thought a sultan was a type of raisin. That's a sultana, you know, scum. Oh, please, fair man. See their simple fools. Thanks, Mum. Oh, seriously, please don't kill him. I can't be dealing with funerals. I hate them. You hate funerals? Yeah, I'm not a mourning person. <laughs> <laughs>
lingerie. Because if I got a special offer for you, browns are half off, stickers are down. <laughs> Seriously, no boys and girls, we can't stop and talk. So much work to do. And I have to be finished by nine o'clock. Because I ate this nap real housewives of Beverly Hills for nap. I'm actually quite like it. I'm one of them in that, aren't I? <laughs> Real housewives, more like desperate housewives. <laughs> well, how do you know I won competitions for my beauty? Yeah, crust. Show me a post. <laughs> you know, yeah. I married your father because they wanted beautiful children. Imagine my disappointment when the two of you came along. Now, get back to work, get them sheets on, come on. Ah, oh, but you look at the state of the two of you. How did you end up like that? Oh, sorry, Mammy, I let me mind wander. Told you that, sweetheart. It's too small to go out on its own. <laughs>
friary and I head up to the palace. The sultan does love to see me coming. I think he's a soft spot for me. <laughs> hey, Anne, maybe I'll put a word in for you. Really? No. There's more chance of me marrying the sultan than you ever marry the princess. Now, get them socks washed. I want them done by the time I come home. You can trust us, Mrs. T. We'll not rest in this place as far as clean and dry. We'll leave no stone unturned till this place is spotless. Right. <laughs> it's breakfast time, ma'am. They're going for the breakfast order. You're going. No, bitch, boss. I've got to stay here and work my plan to get rich quick. Yeah, good luck with that, bud. <laughs> I know it's a long shot, guys, but there must be some way I can get rich and win over the princess. Everyone's going to follow their dreams, right? Riffraff, street man. I don't buy that. If only they'd look closer, would they see a poor boy? No, sorry. They find out there's so much. What do you want? Well, young Aladdin, I want to help you. In fact, I might just be the answer to your dreams. Nightmare's more like, I don't think so. What? Just because I dress in black and have an evil laugh, I'm not to be trusted? Yeah? Listen, now. Can I call you out? No. Listen, now. I know what it is to fall in love. I, too, have had my heart broken. You know the Wicked Queen from Snow White? Yeah? Oh, what a woman. Broke my heart, she did. I never could love again. <laughs> What's this got to do with me? I want to help you, Aladdin. In fact, we might just be able to help each other. <coughs> I can make you rich. Really? You sound like a bad government at budget time. <laughs> Trust me. There is a cave called the Cave of Wonders. But I can't get in. I'm too big. I need you to crawl in there and get something for me. This cave is full of jewels, gold, and riches the likes you have never seen. And I can have some? All your little arms can carry. I only want one old lamp. A lamp? Hmm. It's an old family heirloom. I need it back. Why should I trust you? I let you go back in the village, didn't I? Now it's time to return the favor. Which is the like I've never seen? Think about the land. You and your family can get out of this dump and live like royalty. The kind of royalty that could, oh say, marry a princess. Jasmine. This is your chance of a lifetime. And I can't trust you, right? No, oh, Al. I was trustworthy as an Irish dancing judge. <laughs> Come, we go now. Destiny awaits! <laughs> Destiny? This is my chance. I have to take it. Ah, uh, Al. Do you miss now? Rashers, sausages, black pudding, the works pudding. It's a joke for the day. Right, let's get stuck into it. Al? Al? Where's he gone? Chase, it must be time for the tie break. Deadly buzz. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, Lord. Someone's throwing them with their sheets. I love it.
been a long time, Omar. 2,000 years too long. Gary is looking good. Oh. <laughs> ah, William, I am. The last time I saw you, you were stuck in some ring on some bad guy's finger. Yeah, but these guys freed me and you. This is Aladdin. Don't get too long, my great to see you. Thanks for getting me out of the can. Whoa! 2,000 years in the teapot gonna give you one hell of a crick in the neck. <laughs> so, what can I do for you, my new master? Master? Yeah, super, isn't it? You are now his master and you get three wishes. Sorry, wonder. Oh, I had a beautiful dream. And you were there. And you were there. Aladdin is your master? And we get three wishes? Here's a record. Whoever holds the lamp gets three wishes. And whoever holds the ring gets... Hey, broken arm, if he touches me again. Hey, master, remember? Would you mind wearing a mask? It's nothing to do with COVID. I'd just rather not have to see your face. I can't believe this. And super, right? Oh, okay. Let me make this simple. I am a genie, you are my master, and now I owe you three wishes. Just three, no more. And you can't wish for any more, nor can you wish to kill anybody. It's a dark place, <laughs> and I don't like going there. Also, can't make anybody fall in love with anybody. Other than that, your wish is my command. Two happy meals! All you do is to play, please don't touch it! And next week, the arrows will use numbers. Oh, the Try to keep up. Okay, I guess we gotta get out of this cave and get back to Jasmine. Wait, Jeannie. Omar. Omar, there's this princess. Whoa, she... I can't do the Romeo and Juliet stuff now. Remember? Oh, oh yeah. Well, he doesn't need your help with that side of it. Just look at him. He's me, why? He just needs to be stinking rich. Or a prince. Uh, a prince? That's it. Omar, could you make me into a prince? Maybe I can make Donald Trump into a politician. <laughs> All you gotta do is rub the lamp out, make the wish, and leave the rest to me. Okay, first things first, we need to get out of this cave. Just say the word and it will be done. Jeannie, for my first wish, I want you to get us all out of this cave. Alright, let's make some magic! If you all look down, you'll see a carpet. Not just any carpet, this is my magic carpet. And on this, we're all gonna fly out here. So, keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times. And in case of emergency, put your head between your legs and kiss your butt goodbye. It's magic time, Al! Huh? You ain't never had a friend like me!
What do you mean? Oh, I don't know what is to be done. I... Ah, the Oh, don't ask. I'm nearly 
very night to you and all. Apologies, your majesty, but I have important news. I have been studying the books of law to see if I can find a solution to your dilemma, and am happy to report that there is indeed an answer to our little problem. What are you talking about, Abanazar? Oh, you will like this, princess. Abdul? You bellowed, master. The book. It's all here in the ancient book of Arabian Hierarchy and Legislation, Volume 7, Chapter 6, Appendix 9. Oh, it's a great read, I have to say. Oh, where are you going with this? Patience, princess. All will be revealed. Now, according to the ancient book of Arabian Hierarchy and Legislation, Volume 7, Chapter 6, Appendix 9, if the princess is not wed by her 21st birthday, then she is obliged by law to marry... Oh, oh, oh. Is there an owl in here? <laughs> the royal advisor to the sultan! <laughs> Girl. <laughs> oh, I shall carry this burden bravely, Your Majesty, for the good of the kingdom. No, you have left us no option. The law is the law, and by the law we must all abide. For a land without law is lawless. You can't be serious. Yeah, your much. She can't marry that muppet. The whole kingdom will be scared of her. Our hands are tied. We must do what's best for the kingdom. I'm sure you and Abanazar can learn to be happy together. He's quite the romantic at heart. Love oozes through my many veins. <laughs> A father, no. You have left us no choice. You have run every suitor. There is no one left. Your Majesty, Prince Ali and his entourage are at the gates. Let him in! For the love of God! Let him in! No! Send them away! The princess is no longer on the market. What? Wait, Catherine, this might be the prince of your dreams! Oh, I'm another! If this works out, then you won't have to marry Jasmine. Isn't that great? Oh, that's so that! What? Aren't you happy, Abanazar? Ecstatic! I don't care if he has four eyes and a bleeding tail. You're marrying him. Introducing Prince Ali of Ababwa. Of Abra? What? Oh, is that back open? <laughs> <laughs>
chap, fight, chap. We're very welcome to our little nation. We are poor in numbers, but rich of heart. Your Majesty, it is an honor. Prince Ali, book and map. What a very welcome sight for my own eyes, I have to say. And I'm bling bling. Right, advisor to the prince. Are they? Lee, Whopper! And this is my daughter, and pride and joy, Jasmine. Chan, I'm sure. Wait, do I know you? I don't think so. Where exactly is Ababwa? Who oh, they closed that down ages ago? I believe it's called Ray's now. <laughs> that is a great question. Royal advisor. Well, uh, you know, uh, that is, uh, oh my, uh, advisor to the advisor to the prince. Advise the advisor, please. So as he can advise the prince, as is the advisor round advice. Sorry, no, what? Who it is? Ababwa's! I had my first taco chip there, you know. <laughs> Small but wealthy, oh, yes, a small but wealthy country in the southwest of the country. What? Damn boy, Limerick? Yeah, something like that. How rich are you? Uh, we just bought Newcastle United. <laughs> just, I mean, Princess, I just want a chance to get you to know you. Uh, no pressure, just give me a chance. I am the royal advisor to the Sultan. How do we know you are to be trusted? I've travelled extensively and have never even heard of a babwa. Oh, you have, Master. Do you not remember the incident with the chicken burger? Quiet, you fool! Hey, listen to me. I'm bling bling. Bit of blonde, bit of bling. You may kiss my ring. <laughs> hey, listen, folks. There's plenty of time to discuss these small matters. The big issue here is letting these two lovers get to know each other, you know what I'm saying, Sultan? So <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come, I buy everybody a cocktail. No, oh, well, oh. oh. mine's a half a wall, my He's got my ring. What? That bling bling, or should I say, bish bosh? Master, have you already been on the cocktails? <laughs> Prince Ali is Aladdin. No. Yes. No. Yes. I lost my ring when they fell in that cave, and that bling bling is wearing it. This can only mean one thing. Your ring is not an original? Oh, yes, because rings with slaves in them are so common, you know. All of us are selling them for $9.99. Oh. Yes. Prince oh. Ali is Aladdin. And he has my lamp and the power over the genie. Would you say the genie is that blue guy with Aladdin? <laughs> I did think he was too tall to be a smurf. Bah! They think they'll get the better of me. You two, here! I have a nasty piece of work needs doing. Sounds good to me. What are you thinking, Nabanaza? Oh, yes. I have just the job for you two. Go to the Widow Twanky's laundrette and take the Widow hostage. You are going to torture them until this fake prince tells the truth and gives me my lamp. Damn my lord, this party was heading toward a happy ever after far too early for my liking. No, there will be no happily ever afters until I hold the mystical lamp of Salchibar in my hands. Now go! Come, Abdul. We must prepare for world domination! What? <laughs> Will it take long? I have a table booked at seven o'clock at the Riverbank House and Tail! We're in New North Kingdom, just trying to find our place in the world. I'm just looking for a nice princess to settle down with. What a coincidence. I was just looking for a strong, brave prince to look after me. Wait, are you being sarcastic? <laughs> Clever too. You really are the perfect guy. I will never be perfect until you love me. You expect me to love you when I've just met you? D don't you believe in love at first sight? Yes, but I... Just give me a chance. I do feel like I know you. Know me? Trust me. Please. Okay. <clears throat> my, oh my, oh my. This is a great little day for little old Arab. I mean Arabia. <laughs> now, my daughter will be happy and... All that's left to sort out is the economic crisis, the war, and the pending fear of a Sinn Féin government. <laughs> oh, la Sona, it is great to be president. I mean, Sultan. <laughs> My daughter may get married, 
Prince Ali could be our man. And they left it up to me to organize the wedding plan. With flowers and wedding cards and flowers in bouquets. And all the other details that make a wedding day. But the thing that makes me nervous and puts me in a mood is the plan of the reception when we sit down for the food with royals and politicians, footballers, stars and more. If you put them in the wrong spot, it could start the third world war. It's a ride or Fina Fall, but there's a different culture call when we have the meal. I can't put Jeffrey Donaldson beside the shallow meal. And the roadies and the fairies, they must be kept apart. Unless we really want another court case to start. When Ronaldo sit with Messi, I really don't think so. Especially when Messi has the World Cup day on a show.
on the car with petrol these days, and less emissions than Eamon Wright's bike. Wow, Prince Ali, you really have it all, don't you? Not quite. Oh, the kingdom must look so beautiful from up there. It's a pity Bishwash isn't there to see it. Oh, no, he hates height. I mean... I knew it was you. Well, then... But I... 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 Why did you lie to me? I... I... I had to. Why? Because I love you. I love you too, Prince Ali. Come here. But how is this possible? Abenazar took me to go into this cave in search of some old lamp that had a genie and the genie gave me three wishes and I wished to become a prince so you would love me. I loved you the day I met you and weren't a prince. Uh, but the law. I know, but now you're a prince of me. Daddy will have to accept you and be happy. What about you? I've never been happy. Now all my wishes have come true.
Have your evil way with me. Oh, dear God, no. Are you sure now? Oh, well, listen, we just want some answers. We know that. That's certainly true. Where is the mystical lamp of Salzabar? Oh, we, we know that. You're looking for an icon. Have you tried taking an accident? Oh, enough messing around. Things are about to get ugly. It'd be harder to get uglier than you, son. Where is the lamp? Okay, wait. 
don't be hasty. Here, take it. <laughs>
our drinks not fall different. <laughs> like, what is the story, you guys? Well, long story short, the Abenazer Guster has the lamp, and he made the genie all bang us all up in this green place. And we're all going to freeze to death here. We need you to help us now. Oh, my God, really? But I've never done magic like that. Well, now's your time to shine one. Quick, before we know it breaks off. Oh, I don't know that type of genie magic. Are you not a genie? No. Yes, uh, you have the power. We all believe in you. Oh, I don't know. Oh, please help us. Oh, you and I, this, Nala. Yes, we all believe in you. So do all the boys and girls in the audience. Don't you, guys?
lamp. The power is yours. What do you want me to do, Al? Send on a one-way trip to the black hole of Calcutta? Or our still, Kilkenny. <laughs> <laughs> Kilkenny, Kilkenny, talk to me, Mr. Just wish it, Al, and we can get rid of this guy once and for all. Actually, Omar, I have a different wish. Really? Omar, I wish for you and Al to be free from the chains that chain you to the lamp and the ring. <laughs> I wish for you both to be free. Oh, well, do you really all that up? Well, Al, just think it's all over. Okay, Al, your wish is certainly my command. Oh, Omar, are we really free? I think so, baby. You want to see the world? Sounds good to me, babe. Well, Al, I can't thank you enough. It was a pleasure, my friend, but no more magical genies than no one can use them for evil. Oh, what a waste! Well, the genie might not be able to banish you, but I certainly will. All four of you, you're fired! Pool and butter! Don't oh, right, thanks a lot of it, Arthur. Unemployed again! Ugh, time to turn them for a new leaf and be good. Yeah! Bleed <laughs> muppets! <laughs> Only one problem now. What's well, that one? Well, with no more magical genie, then I'm no longer a prince. Ah, look it! And I can no longer marry the princess. What? Oh, no. Daddy? Well, that is the law, my dear. Now listen. But well, what use is it to be sultan if you can't change the laws? What are you saying? Aladdin might not be a prince, but he did save the kingdom, and if it wasn't for him, well, we wouldn't have a kingdom. Damn right! Hang on. Are you saying Aladdin saved the kingdom? Because on Facebook, George Lawler and Leonard Kelly are both claiming they did. So I decree that the princess can marry whomever she wishes. And she's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. in the air. So, if the princess can marry Twanky, how about the Sultan? Oh my! There you are. It was about that snob now. Try and bleed, stop me! Oh well, this is what I call a happy end. Love has conquered all.
to now, maybe America, they need to new badges in front got dumped. Oh. Or England, they've lost their evil overlord Boris recently too. You oh, never fear, Abdul. You see, the world needs badges. Without evil, there can be no good. Profound. You see, the trouble is when people vote them into power. No, but, but people love a bad guy, Abdul. You see... You say the price of my love's not a price that you're willing to pay. You cry for tea which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by. Why so sad? Remember we made an arrangement when you went away. Now you're making me mad. Remember despite our arrangement, I'm your man. You'll be back soon, you'll see. You'll remember you belong to me. You'll be back. Time will tell, you'll remember that I served you well. Oceans are right, empires fall, we have seen just through all. And when a push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love.
Reef Raff, you've lost it. You know, you know,
and gentlemen, the Castle Crew of Aladdin 23, Western Pantomime Society. <laughs> Worship Premier Laura Bell, uh, Timmy, Brendan, Helen, Sherlock, George Lawler, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, my name is Lee Hines, I'm the chairperson of Western Pantomime Society, and I won't keep you too long, all right? Uh, I suppose what a roller coaster ride we've had for the last three years, uh, from the final show in the Dunmore to our online panto. And we were so close to putting the show on the stage uh, as we came last week, unfortunately, here because of COVID. But we're here, and we thank God we're here today. So let's cheer this show. First of all, I suppose in the tight times we have financially, uh, we're so grateful for four of my main sponsors. Uh, they are the Riverbank House Hotel. Also, we have Wexford People Paper. We have Wexford Credit Union and Castlebridge Data Education. Thank you so, so much. And of course, supported by Wexford County Council as well. Uh, I suppose, uh, first of all, I want to go through uh, the production team. Uh, deserve a big, massive round of applause. Uh, first of all, on lights, the stalwart of Wexford Pantomime Group, that is Mark Redmond. Thank you, Mark, for the lights. Uh, his son, Keen Redmond, on sound with the help of Sarah. Thank you, Sarah and Keen. On wardrobe, we have the wonderful Anne Reck. These gorgeous costumes, absolutely magnificent. Anne Reck on costumes. Assisted by Elaine Murphy and uh, Anne's daughter, Sinead Reck, as well. Thank you so, so much. Uh, our stage manager, Emma Kehoe. Thank you, Emma. She's been marvellous all week so far. Uh, we want to mention uh, the hair as well, Ellie Doyle on hair, uh, oh, not on, not, she's on makeup, sorry. And we had uh, Stacey DeLuca on hair, and also helped by Mary Stafford with all the children, all the hair as well. Thank you. Uh, I want to say a big hello to Yvette Walsh. Yvette Walsh, this is her first year as MD. And so also, she's our chorus mistress as well. Thank you, Yvette. Uh, I want to mention uh, the choreographers. Uh, we have Johnny Smith, we have Circa O'Connor, and also the wonderful Suzanne O'Leary as well. Thank you so much, guys. I want to thank all the volunteers, for all the child minders, all the people front of house uh, selling the raffle tickets and selling the month raffle tickets and all the programs. Thank you so, so much, guys. Um, we have, seriously, the best committee in Ireland, uh, so we've had 24 months to put this show on the road here, and we're so grateful for all the committee. First of all, I want to acknowledge Alan Catenary, who is our marketing guy. Uh, I want to thank, uh, congratulate Alan and his wife, Ashley, on the birth of their daughter, Sophia, during the week. So congratulations. <laughs> Tom O'Leary on uh, the committee as well, Linda Hines, Elaine Murphy, Lorraine Busher, Carly, Mark Redmond. Mick Farrell, Stephen Byrne, Fiona Saunders, and also I just want to mention as well, um, Siobhan Byrne. Um, I want to acknowledge Siobhan has been with us for the last four years, but sadly her father passed away during the week, Lee Gall, and uh, Siobhan can't be here, so uh, uh, thoughts and prayers go out to Siobhan. But I do want to mention uh, Holly and uh, uh, Amy, sorry, Holly Byrne and Amy O'Hagan who are the granddaughters of Lee Gall, who are here tonight as well. So, <laughs> Very brave girls to come back, and thank you so much. Just a few other things. Um, also, um, it's the first year without Mammy still. Uh, Sit was with my mother, so she's been here for years, and uh, it's the first year without her, so I just want to say, Linda, she would have been very proud of you. Uh, we're almost there. We have a special surprise for someone, our young members here at the Wexford Pantomime Society. We have an anniversary award to give out to someone special, and it's kindly given to us by Suzanne O'Leary from Wexford Ballet School and Performing Arts. Uh, Suzanne's going to join me on stage here now. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. So, uh, as a committee, we decided that this person deserves as much, well, everybody deserves it, but we had to pick one person. And uh, we're going to give it to a young person through here, a uh, young member who really, really deserves it. So, Philip, can you have a drum roll? Sorry. By the way, the anniversary award is a free membership for the Suwexa School of Ballet and Performing Arts for a whole year. And the winner of it is... 
Oh, she going to marry you. Oh, she's going to come forward. Congratulations, Oshin. Well done. Delighted to give it to you, so well done. And your parents are backstage as well, sir. You can take all the photographs you want, okay? Uh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much. We'll see you again next year. Bye-bye.